Hey, what's up? It's your favorite bud, Lucas. And today, I'm gonna talk to you about weapons and how to dish and take some hits here on Canucks Castle. Ha! It's me, Lucas Lupinbane, and I'm here to talk to you today about how Amp Guard takes its hits and also what weapons you'll probably see upon the field of battle, right? So let's hop right to it. First things first in combat, you gotta be safe about it. That's the first thing. You gotta go on ahead and be safe. If you ain't safe, referee's gonna look at you or the Reeve's gonna look at you and he's gonna say, get off the field, right? You don't want that to happen. You wanna get out there and you wanna dish and take some shots, man. That's what the whole point, right? It's fun, let's do it. Right? Second thing is gonna be etiquette, right? If you're doing out there, you wanna be honorable about fighting, right? You don't wanna be a jerk about it, like going ahead and do something that's like cheating. That's not fair, right? And you also wanna make sure you're communicating to people you're fighting with, right? Communications like wars have been lost and won over that stuff, man. So like you better be communicating to people like across the field and people to like whom you're talking to on your side too. Like, yo, did I get you? Did I get your leg? Did I hit you? Hey, did you hit me? Like what's all these different questions and stuff was that hand on was that hand on weapon foot on ground Which we'll get to in a second about what those mean and also You want to go on ahead and be honorable yourself and that whole point is to say hey Look, you might have gotten me in my arm and I didn't feel it, but I'm gonna take it now, right? Or if you even think you got hit, you better take it. That's the whole point too. Like, I think I got hit, so might as well go on ahead and make sure I take it. That's the whole point, right? Being honorable on the battlefield. You got those two things down, you're gonna be a great fighter. That's the whole point. Second thing that I wanna talk to you about fighting, right? Is talking about taking hits. So let's talk about the big areas you get hit and how you can be in and out or dead or alive. First things, right? Torso. Torso is the biggest area of your body, so it's like, you know, big. And you gotta like cover a big part of your body with defense. Anyway, you get hit in the chest or the buttocks or the groin, you're dead, right? So that's the whole thing. Torso is chest, buttocks, groin, back, and even a little bit on the shoulders, okay? Next thing's gonna be limbs, all right? Arms. Arm, 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 leg, leg, leg. You lose any of those, you're done. Two of them, actually, is what I should say. Two, okay? Arm, 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 leg, leg, leg. They hear me say that like 17 billion times. Arm, 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 leg, 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 right? You're going ahead, just going ahead, you lose those, any two. You're done. So like that's it two shots to the same arm. You're dead. You're out forget about it First shot takes the arm second shot will go right into your torso dead You're going ahead and get hit in the leg You can keep getting hit in that dead leg we'll call it a dead leg because it's been hit and you can't use it anymore So you're either posting or you put that leg down and you're like pivot on that leg or you hit and then you hit the ground Right, so that legs dead that dead leg you can go ahead and get hit in as many times as you want to because there's no torso to cut into. Aight? So areas you don't want to go for is going to be the head and neck, too many vital parts there, and also you don't want to be like sticking your head into a battle and somebody be like, pop, <laughs> done, right? No, no good. Hand on weapon. Like, there's considered there's like a cross guard or like a basket healed across your sword. So then you can be like, pop, you can pop stuff out of the way. So when you're fighting, you want to avoid that. Because, I mean, the hands are kind of sensitive areas. And somebody will just block your shot and kill you. So avoid it, right? Next thing is going to be foot on ground. Foot on ground is kind of an area, a gray area. So just avoid that one too, right? Too many small bones there and stuff like that. You don't want to be responsible for breaking nobody's foot. And also, like... It's kind of a gray area. Did I hit the ground? Did I hit you? Like, eh, whatever. But if they pick their foot up off the ground, then bam, you better hit them. Like, that's the whole point, man. That's, if they, they that stupid, just going ahead and hit their foot. That's, that's on them. Anyway, so the, oh, real quick recap on hits. Torso, you're dead. Lose two limbs, you're dead. You're going ahead and get hit to the same arm twice, you're dead. Don't go for the head and neck. Don't go for foot on ground. Don't go for the hand on the weapon, all right? That's a real quick recap on the, fi on the fighting and the combat, all right? So, 
One last thing I want to talk to you about before I let you go is weapons. Let's talk about these things and what you're going to see. Might have seen maybe in your class list, like in your write-up, like there's different weapons you can use. Let's talk about them real quick. Let's ditch this guy. Let's talk melee, which means hand weapons. These are weapons that don't leave your hand, they stay with you, and they're just what you can reach, and you're going to go on ahead and be swinging them again and again and again, right? This is a dagger. 18 inches with at least 10 inches of blade strike legal edge, okay? Can have a handle, a pommel, and a blade. All these will have this, all this melee stuff, right? Dagger. Next thing is going to be a short sword. You're going to see short swords all the time in Amcar, man. This is probably like our bread and butter, right? Going to have at least 36 inches, but no more, okay? 18 to 36 is kind of like a short sword. And then you go ahead and you have your blade, handle, pommel. That's the same thing, right? These are great. They give you good control and a little bit of reach, too. Nice stuff. And like I said, the most common. This guy right here is a specialty. It's gonna be a chain weapon or a hinged weapon. See how it just went whoop, real floppy, like one of my ears do whenever I get a little bit, Never mind. Anyway, whole point is right here, this right here, going ahead and you can swing it, you can flail it, all the fun stuff. You can only have one head, can only be up to 36 inches and 18 inches of chain, right? You don't want somebody like wrapping their arm around and being like, Whoa! I've got your weapon now, what you gonna do? And you're like, ah, man, I gotta hop away. Like, that kind of thing, that's not what you wanna do. So, right, 18 inches of chain right there. These are kind of rare, you might see them every once in a while, but I don't like them because they're too floppy. Right here, this guy, long swords. This is from 36 to 48. These are great, big long blade, maybe two-handed for your, you know, the guys who like to do like monks and stuff like that. Like I saw these monks one time, had these glowy swords, and they were like, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know, man, they were weird, so I just walked past. I was done, I wasn't gonna deal with that. Anyway, whole point. Whole point being like, you still got your blade, still got your handle, and you got your pommel, but it's 48 inches, so I can reach you all the way back here. Nah, nice reach, but you lose some control. Next is gonna be great weapons, right? These great weapons are my jam. I love these things, right? Check this out. I'm all the way back here and I got plenty of room to hit you. That's what I'm talking about. So right here, this great weapon is absolutely awesome. It's my polar. I'm like, boom, leg them and leave them. Ha! That's it. So I hop away. That's just me. But anyway, it's anything over 48 inches and you gotta have at least three feet of blade or you gotta have at least one third of the weapon covered. And then you can go ahead and you can get out there and do all kinds of stuff. There's another one up here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's up here on the table. It's real long, big, like, big sword kind of thing instead of just being like a pole arm kind of thing anyway not the point so that's all your physical melee weapons let's talk about projectiles these are the things you're gonna see flying through the air okay just stuff throwing and stuff right here this is a thrown weapon now there's two kinds all right there's a light and a heavy light is real small stuff two and a half inches which is like this white line over two and a half inches to like six inches and that's a light nine inches to 18 that's a heavy right the light stuff's like i don't know like rocks and stuff but this guy right here he's like a throwing dagger Wah! you throw this thing and it's like boom getting them <laughs> anyway not the point but throwing weapons Another one you can do is a javelin. Javelins are 36 to I think like 72 or something like that. Can't remember how long, I don't really use javelins that much. But anyway, it's got padding all along the edge, it's got at least six inches on the front and only count when you do a stab. Ow! Anyway, ow! That was dumb. Ow. Anyway, only count on a stab, okay? Can't like do it on this side. Although I don't know. Anyway, this is an old jabby. Anyway, but it still hurts. But anyway, you can use them in melee, and you can go ahead and throw them too. That's the whole point. Like, you can just like stab, 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 and then be like, wow, long stab, like kind of thing. Anyway, not the point. But last but not least, these things right here are annoying. They're spell balls, right? They're little spheres that have different colors on them and whatnot. And they're all the different things that give a barbarian a nightmare. I'm a barbarian, by the way. See about my white sash, right? So right here, this is a lightning bolt. Red ones are fireballs, black ones are sphere of annihilation, brown one is entangle. Oh, I don't gotta worry about those though. Yeah, I don't gotta worry about the entangles. Ha, <laughs> they're fun. Anyway, not the point. But um, these things right here, about two and a half inches sphere with a little bit of a tail, either anywhere from like one to like six inches and stuff like that. They're kind of nice because uh, you know, if you're a magic caster, you can go ahead and throw these things all day. And that's the whole point. But not, you know, it's kind of fun stuff. But that covers projectiles. Next is ammunition. This stuff right here, ammunition, arrows, okay? Now it's also crossbow bolts. These guys have to have, you know, like 28 inches, whoop, draw length, 
also can only have about two inches, uh, should have at least two inches of foam after the end of the arrow. Now, before you get all weirded out, these arrows are capped, right? They get like padding of like tape on the outside, and then they get like this metal thing on the inside, and then like they get padding on top of that. So these things don't hurt, and they can't actually like puncture you, but man, they wake you up when they hit you. They're like, boom, okay, hi, we're in a battle. Like, whoa, dude. Don't get too scared by them. I've been hit by them for like a really long time and like, I'm fine, I'm great. I can get hit in the face one time with these things and I'm perfectly fine. Didn't have to go anywhere to the hospital or nothing. It's great stuff, but anyway, not to worry. These things are very safe, like I said. Safety's number one. So we ain't gonna put anything that's gonna hurt you on the battlefield, especially these guys, okay? I. So right here, ammunition. That's the real fun stuff, right? Next thing is gonna be shields. Shields? Come in a lot of different sizes, but we're gonna focus on three. Small, medium, large, okay? Small, tiny little baby shields right here, boom. These guys can be strapped to your arm and have to be at least, I think, like 12 inches to like 20 inches. I'm not a real shield guy, so I don't really know. But anyway, small, medium, large shields. There's like in your book thing, they're gonna go ahead and tell you the sizes, the diameter, okay? But small, then you get to like a medium, which is over 20, up to like, I think, 30 inches right here. Medium, you can see, kind of has has the bun. <laughs> anyway, and last, I don't got a I don't got a large shield, but this is like a medium right on the cusp of being a large. So like right here, I had to borrow this from somebody. But anyway, boom, right here, boom. Ha! <laughs> he can't hit. Can't. Where's the bunny? <laughs> Where's the bunny? <laughs> anyway, not the point. That was kind of dumb. Sorry. Anyway, uh, look. Those are different kinds of shields, and that shield can go up to 38 inches, right? So that pretty much covers all the weapons and stuff, like everything from melee to projectiles to uh, ammunition to shields. Oh, I forgot one thing. My moss rock. I love these things, man. Barbarians get this cool thing where we can throw rocks. Rocks are the projectiles that are 10 inches across in all directions. And this is my moss rock. It's a rock covered in moss. So it's kind of soft, but it's not, because it's a giant rock. Anyway, not the point. Some people can use these, and they can throw them at you, and these things are really, really nasty, because they're like armor-breaking, shield-crushing stuff, which we'll get to that in a bit. But anyway, they're great. Another thing you can use are rocks, okay? So that pretty much covers everything, and if you have any other questions, and you're like, I'm around, and you want to know stuff, like, I know stuff, so I can tell you. So, yeah. Um, bye.